am I the asshole? For calling out my aunt on Facebook, who was saying that they're cancelling family to explain the truth. I'm a 28-year-old woman and when I was a kid, my parents always hosted the family Christmas Eve party. This year, my dad was recovering from a surgery, so I offered to host at my new house, which I share with my girlfriend. When I was planning the party, I at first didn't really know what to do about my Aunt Marie. She's always been pretty homophobic, she'd always be talking shit about the gays when I was a kid before she knew. When I came out in my 20s she became really frosty to me and basically stopped talking to me. So when I was planning the Christmas party, there was no way I was excluding my girlfriend who's estranged from her own family, or putting her in a situation she has to face more bigotry. I also didn't really want to have my aunt over for my own sake, like I'm more used to it but it still makes stuff tense. And it was my own damn house. So I ended up inviting all the family except my aunt. My dad angrily confronted me about it, and I basically told him that I know he never allows someone who disrespects him or his wife into his home. Now I'm not a kid anymore I'm as old as he was when he became a parent, I own my own home, and I'm going to be handling my household the way he raised me too, with respect for myself and my partner. He actually apologized for putting me in an uncomfortable spot when I was young. He planned a Christmas Day dinner with her and their other siblings. The Christmas Eve party itself was lovely. Well, on Christmas Day, my aunt posted this lengthy rant about how young people are canceling Christmas and about her woke knees. It was super long and super out of touch, like there's no big conspiracy to cancel family or whatever, I just personally didn't want her there. I replied I assume this is about me not inviting you to the Christmas Eve party? Honestly, the holidays weren't cancelled, I just didn't invite you personally, as you have expressed hateful views towards me such as I wrote a long bulleted list that is taking this way over the word limit here but some of the stuff on it was stuff like being glad aids called a lot of F slur. I said anyway. Since I'm a lesbian and I share my home with my girlfriend, I specifically uninvited you due to your behavior towards me in the past. Nobody's canceling the holidays, just you it's not some new woke trend either, a host choosing to only invite guests who respect them and their household has existed for as long as parties have existed. Well that blew the hell up, my family all started calling me and texting me and saying I went too far, it was enough to just not extend an invite but it was too much for writing a massive list of like 20 years of grievances. Some of my family was even saying it was shitty of me to list homophobic stuff she said before she knew I was gay. Am I the asshole? For the Facebook comment I made? Not the asshole. If she wants to post her dirty laundry on Facebook, she better be prepared when the laundry starts to smell. Family means nothing when the people in it are the ones hurting you. Good for you up. Not the asshole. She chose to take this to Facebook, not you. If she said and did those things she has to live with them and it's useless for the rest of your family to pretend none of this ever happened. Some of my family was even saying it was shitty of me to list homophobic stuff she said before she knew I was gay. She still said it who called her out on it, regardless of whether or not you were gay? Not the asshole. In the words of the author Anne Lamont. Tell your stories. If people wanted you to write warmly about them, they should have behaved better. I think cancelling bigots is an amazing way to celebrate the holidays. But seriously, not inviting a bigot isn't cancelling it's just natural consequences. Not the asshole. Not the asshole she opened the door by posting it on social media and you just responded. Not the asshole. Your family seems to be doing a thing I think of as first speaker privilege. Your aunt faces no sanction for saying anything she wants, but you get called out for a response to it. What she said deserved a response. Maybe your family would have accepted a very short of experienced homophobic hate from you and you're not welcome in my home, but I have a strong suspicion even that would have been too far. It's your home. You should allow those you love and care for into your safe place. Good for you for standing up for yourself and later calling her out when she pressed the issue. I love you for it. Not in a million years are you DA. Not the asshole. Facebook has created a nice public open forum to call people out on their double standards and playing victim. You advocated for yourself and your loved ones. Not the asshole. Don't need to apologize or cater to your aunt's homophobic and bigoted behavior. Not the asshole. She opened the playing field for comments when she posted on Facebook. If you didn't comment what you did you already know other members of your family or her friends would be on that post agreeing with her, supporting her and comforting her after you were a big meanie not inviting her to your party. Not the asshole. 
Fellow the gays member here I love when homophobic people try to play the victim then get their butt storn a new one online. If they don't want dirty laundry on Facebook then don't put it on there in the first place. Not the asshole, she fucked around and found out. Not the asshole I started singing that one scene in Hamilton at the list of like 20 years of grievances. Your aunt took it to Facebook she made it public first, you just aired out all her dirty laundry. Your family is just upset that they still keep her around, and have to deal with the fallout of her weird tantrums because they can't do what you did. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. I love it. Not the asshole is freedom of speech just a thing Snowflakes thinks is imaginary? Not the asshole. That was excellent. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. This year my family finally started excluding my one sibling who causes problems. It was a peaceful holiday season. I'm glad you and your partner got to experience a bigotry-free Christmas party. They just don't want everyone to know how awful she is so they don't have to cut ties. I mean her homophobia is still homophobia whether or not you yourself are gay. And, you didn't take to Facebook to wear out your grievances. She did. All you did was clarify to her post readers that her grievance wasn't really a grievance. You're not the asshole. Also, fuck all homophobes. Not the asshole, but how did your dad react? Not the asshole. Your aunt got what she had coming. Not the asshole. And WTF is the family about saying she said that stuff before she knew you were gay? That is like saying it's okay to be homophobic as long as no one in the family comes out. It reeks of that worn-out excuse that they are just from a different generation or time. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. She can't feel entitled to air her views all over Facebook and not expect you to retaliate with the truth. You're just right. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. Screw her. She can face her bigotry as can your family. Definition of Fafa the family excuses her shitty homophobic behavior for years but to say it back to her is inappropriate? Nah. She started it by posting on Facebook. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. Not the asshole well done. Not the asshole. Good on you for airing their bigotry and exposing the bigotry of everyone defending her. Not the asshole. Tell your aunt if she didn't start shit, there wouldn't be shit. Not the asshole. Your aunt using the terms woke and cancel just show she is a bigoted person desperate to be seen as the victim. Not the asshole. The Oz are always the biggest hypocrites. Not the asshole. Keep standing up for yourself. I believe Hamilton said it best when he said, here's an itemized list of 30 years of disagreements. Not the asshole Andy can kick rocks. Not the asshole I also want to say that I am proud of you for standing your ground, fist. I'm 31 f and in the last few years have come into my voice and it's such an empowering moment in a person's life. Setting your boundaries and standing up for yourself is so hard to do especially with family. But once the dust settles it's like a breath of fresh air. Here's an itemized list of 30 years of disagreements. Sweet Jesus. But in a good way. Not the asshole and your response to your aunt was mature, articulate, accurate, effective, and you're my hero, clapping hands. Clapping hands, clapping hands, clapping hands. Absolutely not the asshole and you are amazing for your handling of it. Not the asshole at all, you are amazing. LOL. Not the asshole. Bigots get wrecked. Until they just mad the truth came out. Not the asshole, clapping, clapping. Not the asshole. Play stupid games. Isn't it wild how obsessed the older generations are with Facebook? Not the asshole. Not the asshole. My family is much the same, being very bigoted. Hating people because they love or believe differently is childish. I'm glad you and your GF are building a life together, but remember something I've had to remind myself just because you share blood, doesn't mean they're family. I have family members that would murder me if they could get away with it just because I want a life different from theirs. Not the asshole sheesh, are you sure your aunt is the only family member that sucks? Good for you for standing up for yourself and your girlfriend. Definitely not the asshole. There's something called free speech. If she wants to trash talk you in social media for petty reasons, she should expect you to do the same with actually good reasons and give her a good explanation on why you don't want her homophobic ass in your party. You should probably also avoid the family members that blames you for exposing her on social media when she started this shit show. Not the asshole. 
All I can think of is how you did Festivus right this year airing of grievances. I think it's fair to respond to a post about yourself lol. Not the asshole. Don't want Facebook drama to blow up in your face? Don't post any. She broke that rule and found out the hard way why it's the rule. Send her a link to the song Christmas isn't cancelled just you. Not the asshole. Fuck around and find out. Consequences of actions. Well done. Not the asshole. She tried again to defame you by spinning a narrative that paints her as the victim. She could have asked you or your parents in private and gotten the reason, in private. She chose, deliberately, to defame you in a public forum. You simply provided the reason for her non-invite in that same forum. She chose the place and medium. She after round and found out. Some of my family was even saying it was shitty of me to list homophobic stuff she said before she knew I was gay. Keep track of these people. They're honest homophobes down to their core and the only reason they haven't been outwardly homophobic towards you is because of social pressure. Not the asshole. The subtext behind it's shitty to list the homophobic shit she said before she knew you were gay as you shouldn't have a problem with her being homophobic as long as she's not directing it at you. The rest of your family have presumably had longer than 20 years to try to correct her or call out her homophobia. If they're okay with excusing at her, then maybe they don't need to come to Christmas next year either lol. The best part is now you have an additional list of people to cut off because they're butthurt about a bigot being called out and excluded. Have you ever heard of the garbage truck rule? Everyone drives around a garbage truck full of their emotional garbage and sometimes it spills from their truck and lands on or near someone else's truck. When her garbage landed in your truck, you truck overflowed. That's how your comment got on her post. I tend to lash out when I am hurt or angry, usually both at the same time. Not the asshole. Don't start shit. If you can't deal with shit. And I wish I had an award to give you. Not the asshole. She started it you finished. 